Hey guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and today I am going shopping. Do you want to see where I'm going? Yep, we're headed to Hobby Lobby. Let's go! So I've made it out of Hobby Lobby and I'll just tell you that in it, I ended up not buying anything from Hobby Lobby. Main reason is that the Happy Planner stuff was not on sale. Um, this week is obviously the Paper Studio. Everything was 50% off. And so I was actually very tempted to buy some of the Agenda 52 sticker books. Um, there were several new releases there. Uh, sorry for all the people walking in the back. I'm still sitting in the parking lot. Um, but I was 
tempted to pick up some of the sticker books there. Um, I actually noticed that the Agenda 52, the Paper Studio Agenda 52 sticker books are starting to look a lot more like the Happy Planner sticker books. So just for example, like there were a couple that like to me looked very similar to other products that we've seen from the Happy Planner. The um, There was one that was called Moody Florals um, and it looked to me a lot like Beauty and Florals, the dark floral book that we have seen uh, in a couple of different versions from the Happy Planner. And there was a book that was literally called Pastel Tie-Dye, which the Happy Planner just released. Well, it, did, it wasn't just released. It was released in August of last year in 2021, uh, Pastel Tie-Dye book with a, like, I think a Pastel Tie-Dye, like a five sticker sheet book. So now Agenda 52 has a 30 sheet sticker book that's called Pastel Tie-Dye. So, you know, one of the things I'm noticing is like maybe there's a little bit more of a blend between like you might be able to like mix and match some of the sticker books um there were a couple of books that I was very tempted to buy I might go back and pick it up um when I have some funding and really need it um but I saw a calendar it was called calendar uh, with agenda 52 and it was basically a book that you could use to redate a planner and I thought that was really neat um and would be very helpful um and so if you're interested in seeing me use that type of sticker book something that's already kind of pre-packaged and ready for you to go um instead of like my personal process right now what I do is currently print out my own stickers and redate that way but if you want to see me use something um, that is already released by the Happy Planner or with Agenda 52 and you want me to redate that way just let me know and I will be picking it up and we can do that um, and the other one that I thought was super interesting um, was dried florals now this I blame on plan with Michelle Michelle from plan with Michelle on YouTube she was talking about the book she flipped through it on her channel and it was beautiful and so I was really tempted to buy it again I haven't purchased it I really don't need any more stickers any more planners and so I was very happy to walk away with no sticker books the other big thing, um, and this is kind of where we'll end, is that I saw the Work Plus Life Planners at Hobby Lobby. Wait, what? I thought that was exclusive to the Happy Planner. So anyway, they're at stores. Uh, and so it was at my Hobby Lobby. I think I've seen some other planner babes posted at Joann's as well. And so it might be something that was just mis calculated or like mislabeled on the Happy Planner website, but it's definitely at my Hobby Lobby. I may or may not pick that up when it goes on discount, I actually think I'm not going to pick it up. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the style of the planners themselves. I don't need more planners and I really don't use the binders. Um, I think the, for me, the benefit of the disbound system is that I can fold it back on itself and that I can just change out my covers all the time. And so I don't necessarily need the kind of binder outside covering for it. If I do want to get something to cover my planner, I'm actually really tempted to buy the black, like kind of marbly, pebbly uh, cover that is at the Hobby Lobby. Um, and so I might wait and get that when it's on 40% off. And so that's there. The only other thing from the spring release that I'm wishing would come out to stores just randomly <laughs> and surprise me is the Teeny Florals black tote bag. So if you have seen that anywhere, I think um, I've seen Teeny Florals, the planner, go out at Joann's. So if you've seen the black tote bag come out at Joann's, let me know because I definitely want that. Um, that was the one thing that I wanted from the spring release that was listed as just on the Happy Planner website as an exclusive. Um, and so if you see it in stores, I do want that. But this is just my chatty video because I walked out with zero dollars spent yay me um there are some things that i am interested in kind of like looking through and if there's something that you want to see me flip through and use in my own planners i am more than happy to do that uh, i just can't justify purchasing it just for myself but i am more than willing to purchase it for you like is that good rationalization or what, you know? So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.